where a robbery and a stabbing may have started this whole thing. We have two crews in Virginia Beach working to get more information. We're going to begin with Chenu Her at the scene of the officer involved shooting. Hey, Chenu. Yeah, Philip and Regina, this is where police have set up a pretty big scene. Uh, they have tape pretty much all over Baxter Road here near Princess Anne, as well as multiple police vehicles out here. Now, neighbors said that they heard all the commotion going on around here between like 1 and 2 o'clock. And one of those neighbors actually shared some video that she shot with us. So we're going to roll right now to the video that she sent us. Now, pol now, police tell us that this was after the uh, stabbing at the credit union on Providence Road. Police say they located the suspect in this area, and when they finally got the suspect to stop her car, she didn't get out of the vehicle, and when they uh, commanded her to get out, she didn't do that. They used a taser, which was ineffective, and when she lunged at an officer, that was when an officer discharged his or her uh, 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 station issued gun and the suspect was taken to a hospital with non life threatening injuries. The victim that was stabbed at the bank was also taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. But right now, police are still investigating. They tell us they will be out here for about another three hours at the most. Live in Virginia Beach, Chinuhur, 13 News Now. We have team coverage of this very frightening situation. 13 News Now reporter Adriana Del Alba is live at the credit union on Providence Road where this incident started. Tell us what you've learned. Well, right now there are no police present here at the scene, but customers have been showing up to the credit union since we got here and they're being turned away by this sign. It says unscheduled closing. It has been closed for unforeseen circumstances. So here's what we know. That woman, the suspect, came into the bank at around 115, 130 in the afternoon. She stabbed a teller and then left. We're not sure where the teller was stabbed, at what point she was stabbed, but here's what we do know. We know that they were not life-threatening injuries.